Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to rename a file after the data has been written to disk. Before you look at the details though, it is important to note that the default behavior of the platform is to append unique ID to output files in order to prevent data loss and from data being overwritten when pipelines are restarted. But there may be cases when you need the output file to have a specific file name. Okay, let's dive in. To demonstrate, I've created two pipelines to read logs from S3 and store the transform logs on the local file system. Let's run the first pipeline and see the default behavior. We'll take a couple of seconds for the data to flow in. Okay, so data is coming in and now we can go ahead and stop the pipeline so we can look at the output file being generated. There it is. Okay, now let's look at the second pipeline. So the way we're going to re accomplish renaming the output file is by doing two things. One is to leverage event framework of the platform by enabling produce events on our local file system destination. This will enable the destination to generate events like file closed which means the file has been written to disk. And two, we'll use shell executor to rename the file. So the question is, how do you get the current path and the file name? Well, you can use system functions to get that information and store that in environment variable, which is then referenced in the script. So let's run the pipeline and see what happens. Okay, so data is flowing in and I'm going to stop the pipeline to see our output file. There's our renamed output file. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.